With this exercise, we're given a system of three equations and three unknowns, and we're given two sets of ordered triples, and we're asked to determine whether the ordered triple is a solution to the system. So this is simply a matter of taking our ordered triple, in this case one for part A, one, negative three, two, and we substitute these values for x, y, and z into each one of the equations to determine if they make true statements. If any of them makes an untrue statement, if they don't work in one of the equations, then we know that the ordered triple is not a solution to the system. If it works in all three equations, then we know it is. So we'll first substitute three times one for x plus negative three plus two, and we want to know, does that equal two? Well, that gives us three minus three plus two. Does that equal two? Three minus three is zero, plus two equals two. So two equals two. This one checks. For the next equation, again, we substitute x is one plus two times negative three plus two. And we want to know, does that equal negative three? So one minus six plus two, does that equal negative three? That's negative five plus two is negative three. So negative three does equal negative three. And then last but not least, we use our last equation, three x plus y plus two z equals four. Does it work in there? So three times again, x is one plus y, which is negative three plus two times two, and we want to know, does that equal four? So three minus three plus four, does that equal four? Three minus three is zero, so we're left with four does equal four. So in this case, one negative three two is a solution. Now with part B, we're asked to check the ordered triple. 4, negative 1, negative 5. So again, we'll start off with 3x plus y plus z equals 2. So 3 times 4 plus negative 1 plus negative 5. We want to know, does that equal 2? So 3 times 4 is 12. Minus 1 is 11. Minus 5 is 6. So 12 minus 1 minus 5. Does that equal 2? Well, 12 minus 1 is 11, minus 5 equals 6, as we said. That does not equal 2, and therefore we know that 4, negative 1, negative, we don't even need to check the other two equations, because if it doesn't work in 1, it's not a solution. So we know 4, negative 1, negative 5 is not a solution. So again, to determine whether a given ordered triple is a solution to a given system, we substitute the values for x, y, and z in the ordered triple into each equation. If it makes a true statement in all three equations, then it is a solution. And if it doesn't work in any of the three equations, then we know it's not a solution.